Hello everyone, so now let's do one lab in the EIGRP. In our previous class, we already finished the EIGRP theory. Now we are going to do one basic lab, so you will have more idea about the EIGRP. Okay, so let's do here. I will take R1 and R2. You can imagine we have two office. One is head office, one is branch office. Okay. One is head office, one is branch office. Let me give you one small scenario because recently we connected the head office with the branch office in our organization by using the uh, what we can say VPLS. Okay. Or if you are confused, what is VPLS? What is MPLS? Uh, now just remember we taken the virtual private line. Okay. We use the private line from the ISP and we connected the branch office from the head office. Okay. So what I want to say you, we have head office and the branch office. Recently we connected the one new branch with our head office with the help of EAGRP. We use EAGRP. Your wish, whatever routing protocol you want to use to connect the head office to the branch office. We taken the private line from the ISP and we connected. Okay. So here we will create one scenario, same like our organization scenario and we will connect the head office with the branch office. So if you see here, what I will do here, I will take here the private IP because ISP give us the connection. They told whatever IP you want to assign, you can assign because we taken the lease line. So they give us and they told whatever IP I want to assign, I can assign because we are using the L2 connection. Okay. Anyhow, so what they give, they give us the cable. We use that one and we connected and we use the IP schema 192, 192.168.12.1. Okay. Here and this side we use 192.168.12.2. And here our LAN network in this branch office, we use 192.168.1.1. And in head office, we are using 192.168.2.1. This is our IP schema. And I will make this uh, name branch office. Okay. This is a branch office. And here, this is a head office. Headquarter, we are writing. Okay. Head office, branch office. And this is the switch. You can give whatever name you want to give to the switch. Whatever name you want, you can give. Okay. So what we will do, we will run the EAGRP. I can write here. Uh, we can give any name. I will write here with the EAGRP lab to connect two branches. Okay. Now we are using the EAGRP with the help of EAGRP. We are going to connect the two branches. So let me go to the branch office. This is a branch office router. Okay. This is a, let me move this here so you can see this easily. So I taken the CLI of the branch office. This is a brand new router. First time you need to write no. After that I will write enable config T. I will go host name. Host name I can give here. What is the name we wrote? Branch office. Okay, branch office. And what you need to do? You need to assign the IP address. So if you see here, we have the interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0, this interface. So we need to assign this IP. And we have another interface, this interface, we need to assign this IP. Okay, so let's do that one. What I will do here? I will go under that interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0. And then I will write IP address, whatever IP you have. You have 192, 168, 12.1, 12.1. Give a space, write 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shirt. So what I done, just I assigned the IP address to the interface fast ethernet 0 by 0. Now I will go, I will go to the fast ethernet 0 by 1. Okay, I will write this uh, here also this IP. If you see this IP, we plan to assign to this interface. So let me write here IP address 192.168.1.1. Give space, write 255.255.255.0. .255 .255 .0. 
okay something wrong here i assign wrong ip here let me remove this form okay and then no shared just i assign the ip address to to interface now i need to enable the eigrp so i will write router eigrp and you need to write here let me check what i wrote router eigrp and press question mark here you need to write autonomous system number we can use any number but you need to remember if you use here this site when you are configuring the branch office you use as number as one here and when you are configuring the head office you are using as number is two then it will not work then it will not work you need to use the same as whatever you use here if i use as one here i need to use as one here also if i use two or three it will not form okay it will not work eagrp so both the site we should use the same as so let me take as as one and then after that we will write network and advertise the network you have this network 192.168.12.0 network id we need to write after network and this is a 192.168.1.1 so let me write here i will write network network id 192.168.12.0 and then again network and then we will write 192.168.1.0 so eagrp configuration done for the branch office now we need to do in the head office so let me go to the head office i will take the clif okay cli of the router head office router i will write here no and then i will write enable config t i will change the router name host name headquarter then i will go to the interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 if you see this is a fast ethernet 0 by 0 i will write ip address 192.168.12.2 give space 255.255.255.0 i will write no shut so one interface done now we need to do for the other interface this is a fast ethernet 0 by 1 so i will write here fast ethernet 0 by 1 then i will write ip address what we can give here we can give like what ip we plan here to take 192.168.2.1 so i will write here 192.168.2.1 then give space write 255.255.255.0 and write no shut okay so just i assign the ip address now we need to do the eagrp configuration so i will write here router eagrp router eagrp AS number we use one there, so I will, I will write here one. Then we need to write the network and the network ID. This is the one interface. We need to write network ID of this one and also network ID of this one. I hope you remember how we can calculate the network ID. This is a class C. If you remember, we assign two five five dot two five five dot two five five. So if you want to write the network, you will take this is a network portion, this is a network portion, this is a network portion, this is a host portion because we are using slash twenty four. So what is the network ID? You will have one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot twelve dot zero. This will be the network portion, and here, if you see, what is the network portion? This one, this one, this one, and this is a host. So I will write one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot two dot zero. Okay. so this is a network portion network id for this one and this is a network id for this ip so now we can write so i will write here 192.168.12.0 okay and after that i will write the other one network and then 192.168.2.0 okay so we done our configuration now if you want to check you can write show ip root if you see we have the root in our routing table this one we are learning 192.168.1.0 network with the help of d d is nothing but eagrp if you see d is nothing but eagrp if you see we are getting here the value and also this is our next hop and from this much time it come up and this is the living interface okay this is our living interface so we have the connectivity now so you can check you can access the server or not so i will assign here ip let me put some label here 192.168.2.2 okay i will give this ip to our server here let me go to the server i will assign here desktop go here and write ip 
and gateway will be 2.1 will be the default gateway. I assign this IP here and here also let me assign some IP to the computer. I will write here 1.192.168.1.2 let me assign here. I will go here I will assign 192.168.1.1 this is a gateway okay now I am trying to access the server so this is a server let me check I can access or not I will write ping 192.168.2.2 let's see it is working or not I can access the server which is present in the head office by sitting in the branch office yeah I can access if you see reply is coming and let me check I can access the HTTP also or or not go to the web browser and then type here IP address what is IP 192.168.2.2 and press enter you are able to access the server also okay so our lab successfully done we are able to access our head office server from the branch office and we have the connectivity from the EAGRP okay if you want the configuration let me show you configuration you can write show run and you can copy this configuration okay if you want this one show run and take this all configuration let me show you okay or if you want the other thing let me show you another way show run section eagrp so this is a eagrp configuration for this router which router r1 let me write here that is a branch office and let me go to this one I will write here show run section EAGRP this is a EAGRP configuration for the head office okay let me put here if you need all this configuration and the lab topology try to follow our uh, group telegram group Link is in the description try to join that one in that one we are sharing all the lab file with the configuration whatever we do in the YouTube. Okay, so try to join our telegram channel. Okay, thank you. Bye.